Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto. Welcome to Internet of Things course. The aim of this video is to introduce the structure of the course and how we're going to work. So, this is the outline of the presentation. First, I will describe the aim of the course and some of the previous or recommended knowledge. Then, I will move on to the course contents and how it will be evaluated. Finally, I will talk about the expected results that we hope you will achieve by the end of this course. In this course, we introduce the basics of electronics. In particular, we will work with low-cost electronics used in home automation, intelligent greenhouses, weather station projects or anything you want. The main goal is to introduce Arduino and ESP processors, so we explain how to program them from scratch. We have created a very extensive set of exercises with the aim to learn the basics of programming and how to work with the proposed electronics. Also, another important goal of the course is to introduce the concepts and terms used in Internet of Things projects. We will show how to implement a low-cost IoT device to, for instance, remotely control a light over internet, or to monitor a temperature and publish data on a cloud server, or to create a web server interface, and much more. This course is about electronics and programming, so if you have some previous knowledge on that, it will be very helpful. If not, some concepts we deal with are quite basic, so in my humble opinion, you will be able to follow the course even if you don't have any of these previous knowledge. In the end, we will see that the type of electronics we will work with are simple to use and tools have been adapted for students with few programming skills. In the end, one of the most important things is that since we want you to develop your own IoT device, we will need some basic skills to create a mock-up or a simple prototype of your project. This course is actually divided into two courses. So, first part is this actual course, while details on how to sign up the second part will be given. In this course, we will focus on the basic programming Arduino and ESP processors. The course is structured as shown. We have a first unit with an introduction. Then, we explain some concepts on electronics that will be useful to understand the recommended hardware. Then, we will move into a set of exercises for acquiring necessary skills for programming using a block programming tool. You, you can skip this part if you consider that it's too basic for you. Then, we will move on to a set of exercises to work with the proposed sensors and actuators, and at the end of the course, I will ask you to create a very simple device. In the second part, we will create an IoT device. The focus here will be in communicating through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, so our device now is capable of publishing data, or it can be remotely controlled. We will provide a more extensive introduction on Internet of Things, focusing on communication protocols, and some advanced programming exercises will be proposed using additional electronics. Then we will explain how to create IoT devices using Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. At the end of the course, you will need to develop your own IoT device in this course project assignment. As an extension of the course, we will provide some samples on how to work with APP in Mentor 2, so you can uh, interact with your own devices with an app, although the aim of the course is not on creating apps. So for the first part, in Unit 1, I will indicate you Two, uh, available resources and materials, as well as a short introduction to Internet of Things. In Unit 2, I will provide some basic concepts of general purpose electronics components and I will discuss about what kind of microcontrollers we can use in IoT applications. Then, I will present Arduino and ESP processors, as well as sensors and actuators used in IoT applications. At the end of Unit 2, I will present the multi-sensor shield that we will be used in our exercises. 
Unit 3 focuses on basic programming exercises using a block programming tool known as Facilino. We will discuss the advantages of using a block programming tool, particularly in the contents of this course, and then we will move on to a set of exercises in order to work with USB serial communication, uh, LEDs, logic, flow control, functions and procedures, variables, math, test. As I said before, the exercises are quite simple and they allow me to explain to you how Facilino works. But if you consider that you already have the necessary skills, then you can go directly to each of the evaluation sections. In Unit 4, we will start working with sensors and actuators typically used in IoT applications, such as RGB LEDs, temperature and humidity sensor, a sound buzzer, an infrared receiver, an LCD L display, a light sensor, even a gas sensor, and some basic actuators such as a relay and a servo. In Unit 5, we want you to develop your own device using previous contents. For that, we will provide you with some hints to succeed with the project. In order to evaluate this course, you will perform some quizzes and task assignments on each of the units as indicated. The percentages indicate the overall weight in order to compute a final grade. You will need to score at least 5 over 10 in order to pass this course. So at the end of this course, this is what, what we expect from you. Okay? So we will, uh, we will uh, explain some basic concepts uh, on electronics and programming. So you will be able to read data from environmental sensors such as temperature, humidity and light. You will be able also to control actuators such as a fan or a water pump using a relay. Also, you will be able to display information on a LCD display or use push buttons and LEDs to generate in, uh, information to the user. But the ultimate goal is that you will learn how to program Arduino and ESP devices in a very easy way. The second part of the course is full of contents to extend these basic results. So, once you complete both parts, you will be able to see the whole picture and then you will be able to create intelligent devices connected over internet or Bluetooth. Well, in this presentation I have introduced the structure of this course. I hope you join us through this interesting journey.